Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about T-Mobile. Now, we all have known T-Mobile in the past to be the little brother of the major telecoms in the United States. We've had the Goliaths of, of AT&T and Verizon. We've had Sprint doing their own thing in the middle ground. And for the longest time, you know, we've seen T-Mobile in the background being that little, you know, ostracized kid. But I think T-Mobile is really starting to make advancements and to really become a power player in this market, you do need to make a lot of advancements. Now, for the longest time, we've seen T-Mobile as that low-cost company. You know, if you were on a budget, you'd get T-Mobile because it was, you know, the more bare-bones option. Now, what's great is even though they've made a lot of improvements, the pricing has still remained quite aggressive, and it really has remained, you know, the cheapest option for you. Now, they've made a lot of improvements, like I've mentioned before, in two categories, their handsets and their network. So, think about it. In the last year, maybe even two years, they've become quite aggressive with the handsets they're carrying. A year before any other carrier had Android, the G1 was on T-Mobile. Now, almost every carrier has Android. There are tablets with Android, and people just take Android you know, as the operating system that everybody has a chance to get. But for the longest time, if you wanted Android, the G1 was the only phone for you. If you were a T-Mobile user and you wanted a smartphone, you went with the G1. If you wanted to try, you know, Android, you'd switch over to T-Mobile. Not, maybe not as big as the iPhone poll uh, to get customers to AT&T, but the G1 and Android was definitely a huge thing for T-Mobile. And now they have the My Touch line with its various phones. They have the HD2. They get a lot of HTC devices before other carriers get it. I believe they had the uh, Touch Pro 2 before the other carriers had it. So they're really becoming very aggressive with handsets. But what else? Their network, okay? For the longest time, and even to this point, it has some merit, T-Mobile's 3G network was almost non-existent. They had an extremely poor footprint. You know, we always bash on AT&T for having terrible coverage and spotty 3G service, but T-Mobile had only a fraction of the AT&T coverage map. So what did they do? Well, over the last year in particular, they've implemented rapid deployment of HSDPA across the United States. They're really trying to get as many people covered in as short of a time as they can. But for the people that they have covered, they continue to upgrade their architecture and upgrade the back end to improve service. So what I want to talk to you about is uh, their HSPA Northeast rollout. Basically, T-Mobile is continuing to upgrade their service and is deploying 21 megabit per second theoretical peak download speeds in, with their new HSPA service coverage. So what they've been boasting is 4G speeds. In the press release they sent out to media, to media people, you know, they quoted it in their official thing, 4G speeds. Now, we've seen the commercials on television for Sprint's 4G network, the Now network. And, you know, I've tested 4G in the past. It works pretty well, but, you know, like I've previously mentioned, it has extremely limited coverage. The same is true with this HSPA rollout from T-Mobile. They have, you know, most of this is in the Northeast. They have in New York, upstate New York, Albany, Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse, as well as Connecticut, Providence, uh, Rhode Island, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., both the city and the suburbs, as well as Boston. And they also have Memphis, Tennessee, and Las Vegas, although those obviously aren't in the Northeast region. Now, the goal is to have 100 metropolitan markets and 185 million people in the United States covered by this HSPA rollout by the end of the year. Now, the th what, makes you one what makes me wonder when I read this is two things. First of all, can they deliver on their claims? They've delivered in the past and improved their 3G uh, coverage, but will we ever be able to see anywhere close to these peak speeds? Now, obviously, we're going to run into the same problems that we have with current 3G data networks. The more people, the more bandwidth is being used, the slower the service. The more spotty the reception, of course, the service is lower as well. So that's not going to go away. You're still going to have problems connecting and downloading if there's a lot of people using the network. Now, obviously, this is not going to be available everywhere. The same issues you have with getting 4G you're going to have with this HSPA Plus rollout from T-Mobile. It's not going to be available in every market. It's only available in a few markets. Now, obviously, you have some big ones, Washington, D.C., Boston, Las Vegas. You have a lot of people being covered. But on the other hand, most people will not get these speeds. So it's really critical for T-Mobile to continue their expansion to keep their service improving, 
speeds and coverage, as well as keeping prices low and continuing to get unique handsets. I think there's a really bright future for T-Mobile, and I think it's really starting to step out of the shadow of the little brother. You know, now T-Mobile is an extremely reputable company. They have great service, they have great people working there, and they, you know, starting to get really good coverage. So my question to you is, do you think that these improvements are enough? Would you switch to T-Mobile? You know, they have, like I mentioned, great handsets. Let's say you're even, let's just say you're in one of these HSPA Plus markets. Is that enough for you to switch? Would you drop your iPhone, drop your BlackBerry to go to T-Mobile and use a MyTouch slide on HSPA? Is that enough to make T-Mobile succeed? I'd like to hear your response in the comments below. Again, I am Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. Thanks for watching and have a good day.